apple orchard field trip is kind of the end to the whole um, unit that we have. And in general, when I plan units, a lot of times I try to plan some sort of field trip type experience or a, you know, kind of a big fun event that kind of has all different um, stations or centers or lots of different things that they get to do. And we will usually transform some other room into something different. And all right, guys, guess what? We're in our apple orchard today. Did you look around and see all the trees and the apples? Did you see there's a hayride? We got all kinds of fun stuff to do in our apple orchard today. And our first activity is going to be apple bowling. We're gonna go bowling, but we're gonna use something special for our bowling. Guess what? We're not gonna use a bowling ball. We're going to use an apple. Look, we're gonna use an apple. Can you say apple? Apple. Good job. Look. We're going to use an apple to bowl. We're going to roll it on the floor. Can you touch the apple? Can you touch? Let's touch like this. You ready? Apple. That's an apple. Look, Maddie. We've got an apple. Can you look? Good job. Good. That's an apple. Yeah, we're going to roll it on the floor and do some bowling today. You ready, Terrell? Let's look at the apple. Ready to touch? Let's reach out and touch. Look, this apple is red and it's got some green on it and it's round like a ball. We're going to go bowling with it today. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Look, Maurice. It's an apple. Apple. You know that sign? You do apple. That's right, apple. Look, apple. Good looking, William. I like how you're looking. I like how you're reaching. Good job. So we're going to go bowling with an apple. We're going to roll it on the floor and see how many pins you can knock down. So everyone, when you get up here and it's your turn, we're going to have the pins on the floor. You're going to do one turn, and we're going to see how many pins you knock down, and we'll put it on our board. And then you're going to have another turn, and we'll see how many pins you knock down that time, and we're going to add them together, and we're going to do a math problem. Okay? So who might want to go first? Who wants to do the first bowling? Hmm. You can use your voices to let me know that you want to turn. You could raise your hand. You could blink your eyes. Would you like to go first? Would you like to go first? Hmm? Would you like a turn first? I don't know. Do you want a turn? Would you like to go first? Show them how to do it. Can you tell us. Want. Want what? Miss Jamie. You want me? What do you want from me? Would you like the apple? Turn. You want to turn. OK, let's get our pin set up. You ready? I'm going to set them up, and then you're going to do some bowling. Here we go. Yes. All right, Maurice, come on down. See how many you can bowl down. All right, you're going to try to hit those pins right there. You're going to roll it on the floor. Ready? Oh, man, you didn't get any the first time. Let's try again. Try and get them right here, OK? Let's try again. See, I'm going to help you aim some, OK? Let's try and get it right there at those pins. Say one two, three, throw it. Oh, so close. Let's get a little closer and try again. <clears throat> Is that funny? All right. Let's try again. Roll right there. Say one, two, three, throw it. Oh, look at that. You got some down. Let's put some pins up there and see how many, okay? We'll let that be your first roll, and we'll roll again, OK? So let's see. Can you put the pins up for how many? You knock down. One. Two. Over here. Three. Four. See, look. 
That's four you knock down. One, two, three, four. You think you can knock down these other two? Think you can? Let's see if you can. All right, get your apple back. Try and hit those two. You get them? Oh, man, you didn't get them. All right, this is going to be your last turn, and then we're going to do our problem, OK? Try and get those right there. A little shorter throw. Whoa, look at you. You knocked the other two down. So let's add two more pins to our problem. Yeah, put them over here. One, two. All right, we're going to do some counting and see how many you knock down all together. All right, let's count. You ready? You get your pointer finger out. Where's your pointer finger? There it is. You ready? Let's count them. Say one, two, three, four, five, six. You got six all together. Can you find the six? Get it. Yay, you found the six. Good job, Maurice. High five. Way to go. You did awesome. All right, Maurice did his apple bowling. Let's see who else could have a turn. Apple bowling. Um, and so at that station, we have bowling pins, and an apple is our bowling ball. And so they each get a turn to um, roll the apple and see how many pins they knock down. And then they are able to create a math problem where they add how many pins they knock down. So they have two turns, and they knock down. They do the first roll and see how many pins they knock down. And we move some um, visuals down of however many they knock down first, and then they go again, and we see how many they knock down, and we move those visuals, and we count them all up and do, you know, say I knock down five all together, then I try to identify a five out of probably two choices. Um, so that's working on counting, and it's working on um, number identification and adding, and um, it's also, again, some of those gross and fine motor skills of, um, you know, being able to stand there, a lot of the kids will be um, in walkers or standers or those kinds of things during this time too. And so they're working on um, being able to stand nice and tall and, you know, roll the apple and all those kinds of things too. Caleb, a little more. You did it. Good job. All right. Okay. Ready? You turn it up here, come on up this way. Gonna have to hop your walker this way. Come on over here, Caleb. Right over here. Come on down. Good job, Caleb. That was really awesome listening. We're gonna get you about right here, Caleb. So you ready? Let's come this way a little bit. And then we're gonna turn. We're gonna hop it. You ready? Say, hop. All right, you're gonna try and knock down those pins right there, okay? So get, that's right, we did hop. So you throw it, not eat it, let's throw it. Let's throw it, you ready? Say one, two, oh, that was a good throw, but look, we gotta try and hit the pins, okay? Let's try again, here we go. Good job, your friend William says good job. Ready, here we go, say one, two, Three. Whoa. Oh my goodness, you knocked them all down. Look at that, Caleb. Three. That's right. And you touch. Look up here. This is four. Touch like this. Four. And can you get it? Look. Let's look. Five. Look. Can you touch? And say, five. Five. Good. And six. Five. This is six. 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 That's right. Good counting, Caleb. We got six. Because guess what? You knocked down all six pins, Caleb.
Way to go! I get a high five for that? Good job! All right, you did it! Then we have the bobbing for apples, and um, in that station there are apples in a big tub of water, and each apple has a different letter written on it in big black Sharpie markers so they can see it. And um, we have, first to start that, that activity off, we have some tactile letters with each of the letters of their first name. Um, and so we start off with um, each student feeling that letter and really knowing what letter they're looking for. They're working on, again, that fine motor skill of holding the net and reaching in and trying to get apples, and they're also working on some vision skills of looking. A lot of my kids just looking is a big, a big deal. I'm sure you probably heard in a lot of the activities of, I'm so, you did a great job looking, good job, I love how you're looking at that, because that's a big deal for a lot of our kids. Um, so we're, look, we're working on looking and finding that apple, um, and then we're also working on the skill of matching letter to letter and just knowing what the letter of your first name is um, to eventually be able to hopefully spell your name and know what your name looks like. All right, guys, guess what? You did your apple bowling, and now it's time for bobbing for apples. And how this is going to work is you're going to race a friend. So it's going to be one person over here and one person over here, and you're going to be trying to find the apple with the letter of your first name on it before your friend does. So I have lots of apples up here. I've got apples with lots of letters. I've got an apple with a C. Does anybody's name in here start with a C? I saw you look up here, Caleb. Guess what? Caleb starts with C. That's right, that's C. And look, there's an apple for you. That says C. I'm gonna put it in the bucket, you ready? Here it goes, in the bucket. There's one with C in there. How about, is there anybody in here whose name starts with a T? Hmm, anybody with a T? Maybe somebody over here? Maybe a boy that's sitting right here? Guess what? What? Lewis. Guess what? His name starts with a T. T, that's right, you see in the T? We have a T for Terrell. Let's feel it, Terrell. See, we've got T for Terrell. And this apple has a T too, you ready? It says T for Terrell. We're gonna put a T in the bucket for you. You'll have one to find, Let's put it in. All right, is there anybody in here whose name starts with a B? Hmm, any Bs in here? I see you looking. Who, whose name starts with a B? Do you know? Not my name. Whose name, can you find it? No, Marie starts with an M. Guess whose name starts with a B? Who is that? Brianna. Her name starts with a B. Look, who is the girl in here whose name starts with an M? Hmm. Who could it be? Is it you? It is you. That's right. You see the apple has M for Maddie. Yeah. I like how you're getting it. Can you look? Let's look at this M. Look. It's got M for Maddie. Let's trace it. You ready? Let's say. You gonna hold it with that hand? All right, we've got M for Maddie. That's you. Yeah, M. That's right. Good job. Let's see. Maurice, can you put this in the bucket? Can you drive your wheelchair up the front and put it in the bucket, please? Go put it in. Drive yourself up there. Put it in your lap and drive yourself up there. It's okay. You can leave it right there. Good. You have to turn yourself a little bit. Use this bar and turn. There you go. Now you can go straight. Good. Put it in. Yay! Good job. Yeah, Maddie, there's an M in there for you and Maurice. Way to go. Good job. All right. And then, just to be tricky, there's some other letters in our bucket. There's a letter A. 
I don't think we have anybody whose name starts with an A, but you might find an A and you'll say, that's not the letter that my name starts with. And you'll have to throw it back and find a different one. All right, all of our letters are in our bucket. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get two people. And you're going to come up. And you're going to get a net. You can pick what color, if you want blue or if you want pink. And then you're going to dig them out just like this. And you're going to look and see if it's your letter. All right, Maddie, did you remind yourself the letter that you're looking for? You're looking for the M. Remember? You're looking for M. And guess what? Maurice is looking for the letter M, too. You're both looking for the same letter, M. I wonder who's going to find it first. Oh, William's like ready for us to go. Here we go. Get ready. Go. Reach in there and get something. Maddie, here's two points. There you go. Reach. Pull it out. Pull. What you got, Maddie? What did you get? Can you reach in there and get it? Let me hold this for a second. Not sure if this is the M or the W. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> Look at that. What'd you get? Look, buddy. What did you get? You got the M. Oh, my goodness. Look. She found the M. Can you believe it? Then we have a hayride relay race because when you go to the apple orchard, you always, you know, go on a hayride. And so that gives them the experience of getting to ride a hayride, which otherwise they probably wouldn't have had that experience. And so with that activity, we do a race and we have two different wagons and we have apples set up um, on um, some trees on the other side of the room and they get in the wagons and race to see who can get the most apples back the fastest. Um, and so they're using a lot of fine motor skills, being able to reach and put the, take the apples off the tree and put them in their bin. Um, they're working on colors, the, the different color apples. There's red and green and, ye uh, yeah, and yellow. And so they're working on you know, identifying those colors. We're going to do some hay rides this time. How this is going to work is we've got our uh, wagons right here. This is going to be our hay ride. And guess what? You're going to get a chance to get in, and you're going to race down to the apple trees and get as many apple apples off the tree as you can. And you're going to be racing another friend. You're going to see who can get the most in two minutes. You don't have long. You're going to have to be fast. So you're going to get to get in here and look, there's hay in your hay ride, and you're going to use your hands and reach and get the apples, okay? So we're going to need two people each turn, and I'm going to need two people that can help me, one, tell us when we need to go, and two, someone that can keep up with our time. So we've got our talker that you can tell us when we need to go, so we'll do that, and we've got our timer on here, and you'll press start. And then when you hear the music, we'll know it's time to see who won. You think you could do that part? When it's not your turn, I'm sure you could. And then when you get done, when you come back here and bring your apples back, you're going to put them in the basket and go back and get more, OK? Until you hear the music. And when it's all done, we're going to count and see who got the most apples, OK? So who thinks they should go first for our hayride? All right, there are two boys that still need a turn. I think it's William's turn and Terrell's turn. You ready? All right, Terrell, let me get your seat ready for your wagon ride. Here's some hay for you for your hay ride. Is that funny that he's got some hay? There you go. Actually, let me have the blue one on my pit. Okay. Be too much. Go! Hurry, Terrell! Hurry, hurry, hurry! All right, let's turn. And let's get you an apple. Let's pick an apple. You ready? Here we go. Reach, reach, reach. You got a red 
apple Terrell. Hold it right there. Head on back. Here we go. All right. We're going to put it in the basket. You ready? Hold it and put it in. Good job. All right. Let's turn around. All right, Terrell, we're going to see who won this race. All right, you're going to get one out and then you're going to count it, okay? So get one. Put it in. One, mm -hmm. two, Get the second one. Uh oh. I'm sorry. Get the second one. You counted two. You gotta get it. It's two. Get one more. Ready? Can you get the last one? Yeah, come on. Reach up there and get it. Can do it. Get it. Good job. And let's count it. Three. Oh, you got three apples, William. Good job. I wonder how many Terrell got. How many do you think you got? Let's see. Let me get yours. We're going to do some counting. Let's get our basket. Let's get ready, okay? Here we go. Let's reach. Reach in. Let's get one. We're going to put it right here, and let's count it. Here we go. One. One. If it's not fun, they're not going to be engaged and it's not going to, even if you have a ton of IEP objectives embedded in this activity, they're not going to care because it's not fun. So I start with a, um, a theme to my unit that I think will be fun and engaging for all of the students and that kind of lends itself to um, a lot of different activities and a lot of different experiences. Um, things that are simple and concrete and tactile that, that we can really um, explore lots of things related to it. After I've kind of figured out what I want the theme to be and what's going to be fun and engaging, then from there I start looking at like specific activities that will touch on all of the different um, domains, like all the different, you know, the math, science, social studies, and the gross motor, fine motor, vision, um, all of those things that we're working on. So the more that you plan these things, the activities, and the more that you embed all of the different goals, and the more that you differentiate instruction, the better that you become at just being able to do it without really having it, every little thing written down. You just kind of, you have to know you have to really know what all of their goals are and you have to really know what the kids need to be working on. And so a lot of times if I have that knowledge in the back of my head, okay, you know, this child needs to be working on this, this kid needs to work on this, and know what all of them are working on, we'll be in the middle of activity and just because I didn't plan it this way, I'll say, oh my gosh, this is a really good time for so and so to work on reaching and grasping, or this is a really great time for so-and-so to work on this communication skill or um, you know all of those things you can embed them so quickly and easily when you have that really strong foundation of what do they really need. Guess what guys we've done apple bowling we've done bobbing for apples and we've done hay rides where we're picking our apples and guess what we have one more thing to do at our apple orchard today we're gonna pick apples because that's what you do when you go to an apple orchard, right? Has any of you ever been to an apple orchard? Have you gone? You been to an apple orchard before? Have you picked apples? Have you done that? I don't know. I don't think maybe you have. But you're going to get a chance to go. Yeah, I have done it before. But you're going to get to go this time. OK, so we're going to come up. And I'm going to hand out your bags. You have a bag up here that has your name on it. You're going to get your bag, and you're going to get a turn to come up here and you're gonna pick a few apples, and then you're gonna take them back to your seat, and after everybody's had a turn, we're gonna give some prizes away. Oh yes, there's prizes at this apple orchard. All right, we've got your bag. Let's come see if we can pick some apples. Can you go get an apple? Look, look, look right here. Can you get one? Get an apple. That's right, get it. Get it. You almost had it. Pull it off. Almost. Let's try again. Get it. Let's look. Get it. 
Almost get it, hurry. And pull it off. You got it. Look, let's see what number you got. You got a two. All right, let's put it in your bag. Let's see if you can get two more. There's one apple. Let's come around this side. Where else do you want to get an apple? Which one do you want to get? That one? You can get that one. Can you get it? Good job. You did it. Good job, Maddie. All right, so pull your apples out and look at what numbers you have. Find out what numbers are in your bag. Let's see, Terrell. You've got, you've got a one. You've got a five. And you've got a three. All right. Keep those numbers in your head. All right, I think everybody's seen their numbers. So this is how it's going to work. I've got some special prizes, and we're going to spin our spinner. And if you hear your number, then you get to pick a special prize, OK? So who can spin our first number? Hmm, who wants to spin? Would you like to do it? You push the purple button? Let's see what number we get. Oh, it's pointing to that one. All right, tell everybody that we've got a four. Does anybody have a four? Oh, Caleb and Brianna, you guys have a four. Guess what your special prize is? You get to pick apple juice or applesauce to have with your lunch, a special apple prize. Would you like apple juice or would you like applesauce with your lunch? You want applesauce? All right, well, remember that. You get to have some applesauce at lunch. All right, who else had four? four? Was it Caleb? Caleb, you had a four? What would you like with your lunch? This is your special prize. Would you like apple juice or applesauce? Apple juice. You want apple juice? <laughs> Good talking. You can have apple juice with your lunch, OK? High five. Good choosing. All right, did everybody get to pick their special prize? All right, guess what? Our trip to the apple orchard is what, Maurice? Can you tell us? All it's all done. The thing about um, our class is that, um, you know, not every day is a good day, but there's something good that happens every day. And so with these students, there are so many, so many things that happen that we get so excited about. Um, and if you were to walk in and, you know, say, what's going on? What happened? We, you know, you might be shocked to find out that it was some seemingly small, tiny thing that happened, but to us, it's such a huge deal.